Hi, I'm Sam here and welcome to another edition of Transforming Your Child One Step at a Time. And so today's episode we're going to look at um, enzymes and hydrochloric acid and undigested food. So we talked the other day or in another episode about um, children not getting the nourishment they need because their food isn't being properly digested. And you might be able to observe that or you should be able to observe that when um, they're going to the bathroom if you can see um, you know, the food that they ate, you know, that day or the day before actually in their stool, then you know that they didn't digest it. Um, we also mentioned that partially digested food, or if you take the protein and you partially digest it, they're in uh, segments called peptides. And if those peptides get into the blood, then the immune system can attack it and then it can cause a whole bunch of um, issues. Um, or it can cross the blood brain barrier and um, it can uh, go into certain receptor sites and cause some different issues. So, so what are the reasons that we're not digesting their food? Well, they're either not producing enough hydrochloric acid or enough enzymes or maybe both. And so, um, and also enough bile. So you're, you have your liver, so we have our stomach, which produces the hydrochloric acid. We have our pancreas, which produces our enzymes. Then we have our liver, which um, basically helps to toxify our body. And then right next to the liver is the gallbladder. And the gallbladder, so the bile, um, there's secretes bile. So the liver helps make bile or recirculates bile. It goes through the gallbladder and the gallbladder helps excrete the bile. The bile's job is to emulsify fat. So if you have, if you've eaten fat, the bile kind of needs to help break that down. And the bile also attaches to toxins and helps get rid of it. So bile flow is very important. If you have low bile, it's probably because you have low stomach acid. And, um, and then if you, so what are the reasons why we have low stomach acid? Um, low stomach acid can be a lack of the vitamins that we talked about the other day. Zinc and the B vitamins are the big biggies. So you know what, if you have a child and you wanted to up some vitamins, I would first go for zinc and for the B vitamins because the B vitamins uh, are necessary for a lot of functions in our body. Also stress, medications, H. pylori, which is um, like a bug that's um, inside our uh, bacteria that's inside of our um, stomach, and uh, surgeries, and, and I think I mentioned stress. So stress um, is a, a big uh, reductor of uh, hydrochloric acid. Also, um, and then the enzyme production, when we start to eat, the chewing process, um, activates, uh, you know, in the saliva, it starts sending signals to start um, excreting the uh, uh, enzymes. So one of the biggest reasons why the kids aren't breaking down their food, and I'm going to say I fall into this category, is we don't chew our food and we eat too fast, right? 25 years in the public schools where you're eating on the run really teaches you how to um, swallow your food instead of chew and uh, eat your food. So again, if you see that your food is coming out the way it went in, then you definitely know that you need to, um, um, A, start by slowing down and chewing because that chewing activates the enzyme process, which is gonna get things going. Also, um, uh, raising that hydro hydrochloric acid with some uh, zinc and B vitamins. Um, also, you can uh, take bitters. This one is from Quicksilver Scientific. It's a great bitter. This one's called bitters number nine. If you, um, but bitters are things like dandelion root, right? So um, any type of greens that are bitter. So um, bitters help stimulate bile, um, which will help uh, that whole digestive process, that kind of loop. So one thing tends to affect another thing. So um, if you're an adult, uh, you can just put this as sublingual and put it under your tongue. Um, a few, maybe 15 minutes before you eat, 20 minutes before you eat, or start off your dinner with a salad with greens, right? Um, all the bitter greens. Children need to work up to eating bitters, but if they just start early, um, in fact, my son doesn't like to eat regular lettuce, He because if he sees lettuce, I don't know what it, why he doesn't like it, but because we've only fed him greens and spinach, if he goes to regular lettuce, he doesn't like it. I don't know, something maybe just looks different. Um, 
Uh, another way is you can sneak it into their smoothies. So um, if you're making a smoothie in the morning, uh, hopefully not with dairy, but with vegetables and uh, fruit, you can put a lot of those bitters in the smoothies and then they can be drinking that. And that's what we, you know, we usually drink with our vitamins. Um, another way is to take, before you eat, to take hydrochloric uh, acid. They come in capsules. I uh, couldn't find mine, so I didn't have them. And you can take digestive enzymes. So um, I take just more of a broad spectrum digestive enzyme. Now really, if I, I really need to work on my eating behavior, and if I did, I probably wouldn't need to take enzymes because really that's not solving my problem. My problem is probably that I'm just not uh, eating uh, slow enough. But if I feel like I'm gonna have a heavy meal, I'll take a couple of digestive enzymes. For our kids, especially if they're on the spectrum, they tend to um, maybe need an enzyme or um, for phenol sensitivity. So we'll talk about that a little bit more, but a phenol sensitivity, phenols and salicylates are in foods and sometimes kids with ADD and ADHD and they can be very sensitive to that. And you'll, you'll probably get a clue if they get red ears after they eat or red cheeks, you know, if they have periodic red ears, then they're probably sensitive to uh, phenols and it might not be right afterwards. Sensitivities can show up up to 48 hours, so that's why it can be a little bit hard to tie together. But um, this brand is called Phenol Assist. It's from uh, Kirkman Labs, okay, not Costco Kirkland, but Kirkman Labs, which is up in Oregon. Also, um, Houston Enzymes have great enzymes. Um, Trienza is a, a great one to take, especially if there's some gluten sensitivity, but you, you just can't avoid it for some reason you're going to a birthday party or what have you. So they have a couple different enzymes that are great for um, gluten and different uh, things. So for our kiddos, the Houston enzymes, or um, if you know phenol is an issue, you can use uh, 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 Kirkman Labs has the phenol assist and then hydrochloric acid, or when you buy your enzymes, see if there's hydrochloric acid in it. Um, you might need, I buy my hydrochloric acid separate from my enzymes because uh, sometimes you actually need to take um, more hydrochloric acid than, um, than what would be in your enzymes. So you can just test it. Um, if it you yourself, you can take, uh, you know, you can try until it like kind of burned your stomach. So um, if you, you know, one it might not really do the trick, two it might not do the trick, but for you, three or four might do the trick. So you can kind of uh, test that on yourself, but for your child, usually the enzymes probably has a hydrochloric acid in it, and it might be enough for what you need. But otherwise, do your homework and do your research online. There's plenty of information so you can uh, decide which um, enzymes, which are hydrochloric acid, um, uh, you know, which bitters, um, you can also, if you have an issue with bile, you can take bile, uh, ox bile. Ox bile is um, uh, great for stimulating bile flow as well. So those are some different uh, uh, options that you can take as you're trying to kind of jumpstart your system. I hope you uh, got a lot out of today's episode of uh, Transforming Your Child One Step at a Time, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.